So in this lecture, we will see the data warehouse features. So we have studied in your earlier lecture that what is data warehouse. This is simply a collection of historical data while database is collection of current data means current time data which we use in our day to day life transaction simply. But data warehouse is collection of historical data means large amount of data. Okay, so simple. There is four main features of the data warehouse and this is most important topic of this first unit that is data warehouse and data mining overview. Okay, so first we will see first feature that is subject oriented. See, listen, suppose we are making a data warehouse. So what this subject oriented say that this data warehouse should be related to a particular subject only. Like, suppose this is the data warehouse of any bank. Suppose this is the data warehouse of PNB bank. Then subject oriented means this data warehouse will have all the information related to this PNB bank only. Not about any train reservation or any result information or any university website. Simple. So this subject oriented means the particular database will have the all the information related to a particular enterprise or particular company only okay so suppose this is the data warehouse of any company x y z so this data warehouse will have all the information related to this company all the past information plus current information also like suppose what was the status of this company before 20 years what was the employees what was their salary architecture what was their address their ids what uh, they uh, what uh, on what project they have worked what was the company profit from with, uh, from that uh, project what uh, technique they have used and what technique causes the profit what technique causes the loss and what the uh, plans they were having to make the profit and what plans uh, were there which causes the loss all these things related to this particular company will be in this data warehouse so subject oriented means the data warehouse will have the information have all the data related to that particular company only now the second is non-volatile means see i am saying the historical data See, non-volatile means simply the things which cannot be deleted, the things which cannot be erased. So in simple way, what non-volatile says that if we have insert some data in this data warehouse, suppose we have inserted that much of data in this data warehouse and I have to insert this data also. So we cannot delete anything from the data warehouse. I can simply insert the data but cannot delete the data. So once whatever I have inserted in the, this data warehouse, I cannot delete the data, I cannot erase the data. The data warehouse, in data warehouse, the data will remain forever. Okay, so once you have inserted the data, data will remain forever. You cannot delete the data, you can erase the data. Yes, you can add the new data also, obviously, but you cannot delete the data. Simply, this is non-volatile. That once you have inserted something in data warehouse, you cannot delete the thing. Next is time variant. See, we are. I have said that I have said that uh, historical data means twenty years old data, ten years old data, suppose five years old data. So time variant means all the data related to time will be in this data warehouse. Suppose this is our twenty years old data warehouse of a particular company X Y Z. Suppose. So this will having the data related uh, of 20 years old also, 19 years old also, 18 also, 17 also and there are now present data also. So this data warehouse will have all the data of this company ready to time like time variant like 20 years means the data which is worrying according to the time. 20 years old data it is having 19 years, 18 years, 15 years, 10 and so on present data also. So all the data ready to time means worrying with the time will also be in this data warehouse. Now the last property is integrated. Integrated simply means, say, suppose this is the data warehouse of any bank. So how will we store the data and how we will get the data to store in this data warehouse? Suppose there is any company ABC 
and i want to make the data warehouse of this company to analyze the data to predict the future for data mining so what i will do how will from which way i will get the data what i will do i will check the company's old detail company's old database uh, a company's data warehouse what are the different sources of company the storage of company i will get data from this company also and what are the other ways suppose uh, there are some old employees of the company i will go to those employees and will collect the detail and the next way may be i have study some article related to that company from newspaper etc or online etc so there are different ways we are storing the data we are gathering the data for to collect in this data warehouse so see there are different different ways different different sources from where we are getting the data for this data warehouse so suppose integrated means suppose this is using some other language this is using some other language this is using some other language integrated means matlab from whatever source we are getting the data but data is in standardized form data is in standardized form in means the data in some standard form to store in this data warehouse so this is integrated means no matter from how many sources we have collect the data but data is in some standard form this is integrated see this is a four feature subject oriented means related to particular subjects only non volatile once whatever we have add in this data warehouse we cannot delete the data time variance means we will get all the data related to the data warehouse according to the time integrated means from different sources we have gathered the data collect the data for data warehouse but the data will be in some standardized form so in next lecture we will see all them in detail like what is integration from what are the sources we have collect the data all these things okay so this is data warehouse properties